All right, so picture this. You've got a 212 pitch or whatever pitch you're working with. That's just an example. You've got a heavy snow load up here. This represents your truss. So y'all just bear with me as I explain this. This is your C purlins, and this represents your tin loaded up with snow, okay? All of that load is straight on here. You're almost vertical at this point. This right here, any beam is always at its strongest when it's straight up and down. The more it turns, the less strength it has because you're no longer putting that load straight down on the vertical portion, okay? So if you imagine this, this being your 212 pitch or whatever pitch you want to work with, if I can figure out how to do this by myself, all that load gets down on there, it's pulling down on the weld, okay? You've got your clip sitting right here, and the weld is on this same side as the purlin, okay? So you're pulling against it, constantly stretching against that weld, okay? So now, let's pretend that this is a 412 pitch, or a steeper pitch, regardless, okay? Now you've got that steeper pitch. You put this at a more steep angle, but you also are increasing the shear load of your snow load. So if you have the same amount of snow on here, the same amount of weight bearing down, you're more likely for those clips to give out and shift and break over like that right there, okay? So when you get a steeper angle, by adding an extra piece of purlin somewhere in there, if I can make that work, by adding that extra piece of purlin, that's one more clip, one more weld to help you hold you in there. I'm not giving you an exact science to this. You can look up all the specs to this, but this is just an example. It's really pretty easy. As you start to get steeper and steeper, then you change and you put add more purlins. This is different when you're working with wood. In fact, some people even say that it's opposite. So I know a lot of guys that are used to wood are going to listen to this and they're going to think it's wrong. But the specs are different for wood and metal.